to add groups to your Verizon MDM, first we must go to Manage and then Groups. On the right hand side, you will see a Create Group option. Once selected, it will prompt us to fill out a group name field. Here, we'll type in Test. You do not need to fill out the company name, the customer ID, nor the account number. The only thing we need to fill out is the group name. Once it is filled out though, we do hit save and then OK. Once it is created, now we can assign different policies and different devices to this group. First, we will start with policies. If there are certain applications or restrictions you would like to put on that group, first we'd go to Manage and then All Policies. Under the policy screen, you will find all of your different policies that have been created or added. For example, if this particular group needs OneDrive, we would select OneDrive, go to Group Assignments, and then Assign to that group. On the Group Assignment screen, it says Assign Microsoft OneDrive to, and there's a drop down box. Here is where we would select the group, in this case, test, and then assign. Once it is successful, we can close that screen. And now every device inside the test group will receive the Microsoft OneDrive application. To add devices or users to a group, first we must go to Manage and then Search Devices. There are two ways to add devices to a group. The first option is to select the devices one by one. Go to Group Memberships and then Add Group Assignment. In this case, we will add Test. To remove said group, all we have to do is put our cursor onto it, select the little X, and delete the assignment. To do a bulk Im import to group, we'd have to hit Manage, Search Devices, and select in the white space next to the names on, on the Search Device screen. Then send batch command, select a command, and add group membership. Once it gives you the option for which group, we would select the drop down box, hit test, and then authenticate. To add users to a group, we must go to manage search for users. Find the user we need to add, so for example, this test one. Group memberships, and then just like we did for the devices, we would add group membership and then test. So now this particular user, once they first log in to the Verizon MDM, or this user is assigned to a device, it will automatically get the test membership 